Today, we will be discussing some information about real estate investing in Thailand, your financial options, how much it costs to invest in real estate in Thailand, and finally, if this kind of investment is a good idea or not. In the Kingdom of Thailand, foreigners cannot own land in their name. However, there are certain grey areas around this, one of which is through a Thai registered company. Legally, land can be owned by a company, but there are pros and cons with this option and there are requirements that must be met to obtain land in this manner. One property option that is possible and legal for foreign ownership is the focus point of today's video, and this is owning a condominium. I've attached some extra information regarding property tax and regulations for those who are looking for more information and that can be found in the description below. In Thailand, a foreigner is limited with financial options. In most cases, a foreign investor will need to pay 100% of the unit price, excluding the initial deposit. Investors normally do this from their savings or take out a loan in their home country. This is slightly different from the Philippines, for example. In some cases, if you have built a connection with the bank, obtained a guarantor, have a long-term visa, and able to prove financial capacity, you will be able to obtain a local bank in the Philippines. But in Thailand, this is near impossible. Thus, unless you're investing in multiple units or a brand new development, you will need to pay the remaining costs after the initial deposit. This will change ever so slightly if you're entering into a leasehold agreement. When investing in real estate in Thailand, there are several things to consider. The first is the upfront cost, and the second is the maintenance costs. For instance, initially, you will need to hire the services of a real estate lawyer. You will also need to do a title search, and as payment for property in Thailand is made through local currency, you will need to convert your investment capital into Thai bar. In regards to maintenance costs, there are fees such as real estate fees, condo fees, insurance fees, etc. The unit in question affects all other expenses. The more prominent the unit, the higher the fees. In Chiang Mai, a small one-bedroom condominium can be purchased between two to three million Thai Ba. However, a similar property in Bangkok along Circumvit Road can be nearly double the price of those found in Chiang Mai. I have spent this morning and afternoon looking at six different examples of condominiums Dominiums across Thailand, and during my calculations, the estimated prices for each of these fluctuates heavily. This is because there are many external factors to consider, and there are also many additional extras that you may or may not wish to include, and these areas result in fluctuation in the calculations. Nonetheless, as a guideline, I would recommend having at least 10 to 15 percent extra than you think you will need when purchasing a condominium in Thailand. There are two areas to consider when answering this question. The first area is the country itself, and this includes questions such as what will the future of Thailand be like? But in addition, there are also other questions about similar countries in Southeast Asia, such as are there any other Southeast Asian countries that are a better option for foreigners who are looking to invest in property? The second area to consider when answering this question is the reason for investing and the strategy. For example, is this a personal investment for the future or do you plan to rent this unit out for financial gain? Property investment in Thailand is a fantastic idea, but for those who are investing purely for financial gain, I would suggest investigating other Southeast Asian countries which may be more suitable for investors. 